Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for December 30th, 2019. Well, my goodness, only two days left of trading for this year. What an incredible year this has been. What an incredible decade this has been for the stock market. As we look at this morning's market, I just want to remind everyone that holiday trading is typically very, very difficult, very low volume, and that everyone should be very, very careful about trading around a holiday. So just keep that in mind as I go through the morning's prep this morning. We also have a major winter storm that's kind of heading across that east coast as we head into the holiday here. That may also slow things down just a little bit. I can tell you for here, it's just remarkable that we actually, I actually still have power and internet this morning because um, we've had a major winter storm here. And as a matter of fact, the, the state patrol here has declared all of the highways, all of the highways in my county as impassable. Um, as of last night so pretty interesting we're all snowed in but so far I still have power and internet that's a nice thing um, so today what I'm probably uh, what we're likely going to see is very light volumes now we do have a few things for the market to react to so let's first talk about the technicals here in the chart what do we have going on well, Friday we had a little tiny bit of selling coming in, and we saw the VIX jump up just a little bit, a little bit of fear maybe coming in. But I got to tell you guys, what we're looking at here is a very bullish trend. Bulls um, remain in control. At least at this point, there is no major concern of a substantial pullback but keep in mind as we head into the end of the year there is that possibility of some tax selling or some uh, even uh, could be some institutional window dressing that pumps it up a little bit further so not a whole lot here to probably re react to um, technically we're holding up very very well the uh, trends are very strong if we take a look at our uh, moving averages here the only major concern that I have is we're really stretched out quite a quite a long ways away from our 50-day moving average and if we were to see some selling it wouldn't be that big of, of a surprise. But I gotta tell you, the, the momentum of this market has been so strong, I don't foresee, at least at the moment, any major sell-off um, in the works here. And as you can see, just maybe a little rest is what the market is looking for. Let's take a look at um, the SPY here real quick. SPY also holding up very, very well. A little bit of a selling you know, move there on Friday, but once again, trends holding up very, very strong. There really isn't anything in here that is suggesting any major sell-off is imminent. Maybe a little rest, maybe a little pullback could occur, but also just keep in mind that we could see institutions fire up. They're, they're going to want to hold these market numbers into the end of the year so they can close out the end of the year showing these really high numbers. That attracts more buyers, and they're going to do their best to try and hold that up, I suspect, um, in through the end of the year. So nothing major here. Once again, just a little reminder, we're, we're stretched out here a little bit far away from our 50-day moving average. So a pullback or a rest could be on the way sometime in the near future, but I'm not seeing that here just this morning. So kind of keep that in mind. Let's take a look at the cues. Cues very, very strong. Had a little bit of a selling um, a wave there on Friday. Pop and drop a little bit. And I kind of talked about that possibility, that little bit of a pop and drop on Friday. But as you can see, we're holding up well and there's good price support right in here, right in here in this chart so really nothing in here of major concern just yet as long as we hold price support levels will be in good shape once again we're a little bit stretched away from that 50-day moving average that puts that amplitude up here pretty high or stretched up here pretty pretty 
pretty high in that amplitude. So sometimes when that occurs, we can expect at least at a minimum some kind of a rest in the market. We'll have to wait and see, but right now there doesn't seem to be any any indication that the bears are really strong um, in any way, shape, or form. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM had the biggest problem here on Friday, putting in a bearish engulfing candle, pushing back. But one thing I have to say is that we held up, we continue to hold up here um, in that support of the price action and we also held trend. So although we did see that little bit of a bearish wave pulling in and that possibility that this may um, provide us even a little bit more downside, I really don't see a whole lot of fear here. Maybe just a little bit of uh, selling relief we needed to back up a little bit. Once again, crossing down um, uh, through the support would be a problem, but um, I don't I don't see it as a major issue um, at least at this point um, we're a little bit far away but removed once again from that 50-day moving average but hey you know um, what a what a way to end a year showing uh, so much strength here in the market let's take a look at the VIX real quick and you can see on Friday the VIX popped up here just a little bit we we held on to this price support and on Friday, as we headed into the close, we had a little bit of selling coming in. That popped up this VIX here. Now, it's just because we're down here so low, we had um, a, a relatively strong price reaction. You see the VIX popped up about 6%. But one thing I want to point out here in this chart is if we draw a line across here, we really didn't do any damage here at all in the VIX, maybe just a little bit of fear, a little bit of profit taking coming into the weekend. Where we're going to have a major problem is, is, is if the, the fear continues to spike and we actually pop above this resistance in here and this downtrend. If we get above those two things and then hold the support, we could have some major trouble. But right now, I don't see that. Uh, and I just don't see the willingness in the bears, at least at this point. We would need some kind of a news event, I think, to really bring those bears out. Right now, I just don't see um, see that. I don't see the willingness of the bears to do much of anything as we head into the end of the year. Let's take a look at T2122. That four-week new high, new low ratio. Let's take a quick look at that. And you can see on Friday we had a little pullback. And that pullback coming in right where we would expect it, right around that bearish reversal zone. Now, what that tells us is that gives us upside room. So if we can find some inspiration, maybe in the economic numbers coming out today or something like that, or a news report, that opens up more upside for us here in the chart. We'll want to watch that kind of closely. But also keep in mind, we still have a pretty big space that we could move down. But we're going to need those bit bears to kind of get fired up here for that to occur. Right now, they don't seem to have a whole lot of inspiration to do much of anything. So um, not much going on there. If we take a look at our economic calendar this morning, our economic calendar does have some things on here this morning that could move us around just a little bit, but I don't expect them to be huge. We do have international trading goods here at 8.30 this morning, and what they are expecting consensus is expecting um, that trade gap to widen just a little bit in, in November. So keep an eye on that. That might be a little inspiration for some bears, but the overall momentum of this market has been so strong. I just can't imagine that a number like this is going to reverse things. Um, then we have pending home sales and the pending home sales um, had a couple of months of decline but um, they are expecting an increase on that number for November so watch that after that there really isn't much for the market to react to the economic calendar shows eight um, eight companies expected to report earnings today but only seven of them are I mean only one of the eight are confirmed 
when they're going to report. They're all basically small caps, nothing notable in there. So there's not a whole lot of inspiration on that or earnings calendar. We'll have to probably wait for that economic reports to find much inspiration. And of course, we can always have a news event that could certainly fire up the market and get things moving. But as of right now, I don't see any major things out there to move us around. As a matter of fact, what I see is a very high likelihood that volumes could be rather diminished. And with that storm kind of spreading across the East Coast, traders may just decide, you know, look, let's hang it up for the week, for the year. And let's think about um, doing a little bit of preparation for next year. Um, you know, and, and I want to spend just a little bit of time on that before we take a look at any stocks that may be setting up. And that is, you know, there are times to be really active in the market and there's times to stand back. And the next few days might be a good time to just you know, call it a year. Uh, protect your current positions, obviously, but be a little bit careful about chasing into new trades. Um, a great activity um, this week would be reviewing your past year, seeing if you can find any places for improvement, maybe adjusting your trading plan, maybe adjusting some trading rules, setting some goals for next year, setting so how, how you're going to work to achieve those goals, possibly even working through um, um, building some shopping lists, some watch lists for next year, doing that preparation work so that you can start next year um, ready to go and fully engaged uh, in the market rather than fighting in a low volume um, environment trying to eke out a trade or two how about take that time just being prepared for next year when those markets fire back up volume comes back in might be a better thing to do to prepare than um, kind of sitting here watching grass grow um, in a very anemic market just a thought so with that, let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, if you guys could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. Guys, remember the purpose of these videos are not to provide any prediction or any hype. They are there to take a look at the technicals of the chart and try to help uh, myself and anyone else out there how I might want to approach the market for the day. So if you find these useful, please make sure and click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment. And also please feel free to share these on any social media out there. And that really helps a lot. It, it, it keeps the channel growing. And I really want to say thank you to everyone. This has been a great year for the Right Way Options channel. Um, coming up um, in subscribers, I just really, really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much. Um, it, it, this channel is only possible because uh, of you guys and um, the great the great responses that that you provide to this content so thank you very very much you guys are awesome so let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up and before we do that just know that Every time I show one of these stocks um, in these videos, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. You have to do your own evaluation, decide whether or not these trades are right for you and if they fit your trading um, goals and uh, plans. Let's take a look at a trade like NVIDIA. Now, NVIDIA is kind of interesting here. I'm going to throw some drawings on this chart. And you can see NVIDIA has been in this nice little trend. What I like about this chart right now is that it's resting and that we broke through this resistance right in here. Nice little price resistance area where we popped through. And as you can see, we got this little consolidating move moving out here toward the side. Now, it is entirely possible that could consolidate here for some time but let's keep an eye on that as long as this holds above this area of support we don't break back down below there there is that possibility that we could change the trajectory of that trend in here from this more of a 
flat to a little more elevated and we could see that move on up from that point so keep an eye on nvidia there may be some possibilities coming here in that chart take a look at verizon Verizon on Friday had a really nice day. Um, you can see we've been moving up in this trend. We broke through a substantial area of resistance. Breaking through that area, pulling back, holding as support, and you can see we're moving over toward our trend. Nice little resting pullback in here popping up. I wouldn't be at all surprised, you guys, to see this um, even drift sideways a little bit more before it really goes. But keep an eye on it. Uh, Verizon, nice little pattern here and looking pretty good overall. Take a look at Lowe's. I think Lowe's is setting up for more upside in the chart. And as you can see, this is a substantial breakout here in Lowe's. Breaking up higher, nice little uh, rising trend, nice little consolidation in here. And I call this a pop out of the box pattern. When we get that really tight um, consolidation, and you can, you can literally just see right where the, the bulls step in. Um, bears try to push it down there the bulls just step in and hold it so because we're in this uptrend in this chart we want to watch for that next opportunity when that pops through that pink line that you see here on my chart is actually an alert what I'm waiting for is to see if that can actually pop on through for an opportunity maybe for a trade so keep an eye on that nice little setup if that can move on through move on higher we'll want to keep an eye on that chart Take a look at Coca-Cola, nice little defensive sector stock. And you can see Coke moved up nicely on Friday, looking good. Now, I wouldn't be at all surprised to see a little bit of rest in Coke. Coke's not one of those stocks that just moves up huge. And, and just to be fair, guys, uh, to uh, full disclosure, I am actually in a position on Coke. As a matter of fact, I'm up um, 38% or something like that on the current position. So uh, probably a little bias in this. Right now, I wouldn't chase this for a trade. What I'd wanna do is wait for the next potential entry. But what I do like in this chart is that we broke this downtrend. You guys have seen me do this before. We're holding this uptrend, and now we've broken through this level right here of resistance. Any rest, consolidation, or pullback in here could set up an opportunity for more upside, and then that opportunity that we may attack these highs um, in Coke. So keep an eye on that chart. Looking pretty good overall. Other defensive stocks like PepsiCo, um, also trying to move up. Now, one of the challenges PepsiCo has here in breaking through in this trend is we still have this resistance right here that we've got to break through. But notice that nice little flat top um, wedge here, ascending triangle. If that can pop on through here and hold, there may be some upside potential here in PepsiCo. So something to keep an eye on. I really like the chart. Um, looking pretty darn good overall. Procter & Gamble here on Friday. Finally, we've been talking about this for a while. We finally break through this resistance up here, holding this trend. A little bit of choppiness in here. Another defensive sector stock where we're kind of holding in here and popping on through. So uh, Procter & Gamble has that opportunity for blue sky highs here to keep moving on up. One to keep an eye on. Um, Pretty nice looking chart overall. Let's take a look at Amgen. Amgen, I think, is continuing to set up here. Amgen in this nice upward trend. Now we are drifting a little bit further sideways in here, maybe requiring a little bit more rest. But as you can see, if we look at this nice little area in here, we can definitely see where the bulls step in. Um, so they don't want this to sell off. And that's the thing that I like about this chart is nobody wants to sell it. Even though we're up here so high, there's not a big willingness to sell this stock. So what you'd want to watch for is that next pop out. If we can break out of the upside of this box and see that popping on through, there may be an opportunity here on that chart. UNH is another one of those charts where the healthcare sector stocks have been very, very strong.
over the last uh, quarter here. And as you can see, just resting in here, really tight consolidation resting in here. This was a break above a substantial resistance here in the chart. And now just kind of consolidating that move. So we can see right in here, that nice little support area in this chart. We just need that to pop on through, move on up, keep an eye on UNH. It may be one of those charts that you have been looking for. You know, I've been talking about this chart in CGC. I got to tell you, kind of disappointed that CG CGC didn't hold up very well. If I take a look at a 50-day moving average, you can see we have failed back below that 50-day moving average. But if I go a little bit further and take a look at the price action in this chart, you can see there is some price support right through this area. So in that price support, we need to see CGC kick up here. I've moved my alert on this a little bit closer in that chart, but boy, this thing is going to have to get going here soon or CGC may just be um, slipping itself all the way back down. So watch that carefully. It's not holding up like I'd hoped it would. Um, let's keep an eye on it, see if it can finally come back around. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day and I want to wish you great profits. Once again, please do me a favor and click that subscribe button and also click those thumbs up and leave a comment. You know, um, as we head into this new year, make sure you've taken your profits, make sure you're preparing for next year, those kind of things. That's what helps you be a better trader is that preparation work. Everyone, I want to wish you all the very best today. I want to wish you great trading, and we'll see you all right back here bright and early. By the way, next Friday. OK, there will not be a morning market prep tomorrow. We got a partial day in the market, um, so there won't be a, a morning market prep tomorrow. There won't be one Wednesday. There won't be one Thursday. Highly recommend everyone take some time off. Enjoy your family. Don't be fighting in a low volume market. So with that, everyone, we'll see you back here Friday morning for a morning market prep. But keep watching the channel. I do plan to drop a couple training videos uh, in uh, the YouTube channel here um, over the holiday. Everyone take care. Have a great one. We'll talk to you all very, very soon.